I'm Joyce Hochsprung with the McLeod County Master Gardeners. Uh, we're here at our pollinator bed this morning at the McLeod County Fairgrounds, and we're going to plant bulbs this morning, mostly tulips, but uh, we have a few lily bulbs to tuck in too. And we're going to let take you along on our journey as we do this. We've kind of spaced out some areas, pulled the mulch back, lined out the ball, set the bulbs in there, and then we'll go in and dig them in, cover them, put down our retellics, our plant food, our bulb food, and cover them up and water them in. So follow along with us. Hi, I'm Roxanne Stensfed, McLeod County Master Gardener. And there are a couple of ways that you can get your hole ready for planting tulips or daffodils and that. And I have with me, it's called a bulb auger, and it attaches to a drill. So it, I, I thought about this as I was coming here today. A nice electric drill would be nice where you don't have a cord, <laughs> but I have a, it hooked to electricity and a lot of cords right here. So you bear that in mind, depending on where you're putting your bulbs in. But this makes quick work of digging a hole and it's about, it'll make about a six to seven inch deep hole, which is perfect for the tulips or daffodils and that. And I'm gonna demonstrate now how to do that. All right, so I'm going to, I put it kind of where I want the hole to be, and then it'll make a lot of noise, but um, it's, the whole thing is studying the drill because it can be kind of weird feeling at first to get the hang of it. So here I go. There, and I don't know if you can see the hole, but it's a nice hole. Okay, sometimes when you go down, you know, it goes down nice, but it, it can get stuck depending on the soil. So just hit the reverse on your drill and it comes right out really nice in that. Or if you hit a rock, you might have to go drill some little place else in that. So right now I've got two holes dug. And I'm gonna continue until I get about 15 here. You wanna, sometimes it's nice to have um, a whole group of tulips in one area. Okay, if you have problems with uh, rabbits taking your tulips or deer, uh, you might want to use some type of a repellent. This one is Repellix. It's just one that's worked well for me. Um, so Rox has dug the holes with the auger, and I'm just going to sprinkle some Repellix in each of the holes so it's right down there where the tulips can start taking it up when they start growing. Okay. Okay, so Joyce has just put in the uh, repellent that uh, for repelling the rodents or deer that might like your uh, plants and that. And now we're ready to put the bulbs in. And basically it's pretty simple, uh, especially with tulips. It's got a nice little point, make sure that's going up. And then you can just stick them in the hole. And while we're doing that, Joyce, as I put them in the hole, will add some food. Uh, on top of the bulb. We'll put a little dirt and then a little food on top of it to give it that extra boost that it can help the tulips um, as they grow. Okay, so down in the hole, just easy. Doesn't take too long. Looks like I have a few extra bulbs. I might have to dig a few more holes here then. All right, now a little dirt, just a little dirt on each one. Joyce. Okay. Okay. Oop, I missed a bulb. There we go. That's why. Okay. Okay, and now I'll just cover them up and tap them in. And then the final step, we'll have Marion or Andy bring the hose over because they should get a good watering before. 
we quit. There, now they're all tucked in. Get the ground settled around the bulbs. Let it soak in a little bit. <clears throat> you would think after that nice inch of rain we had that the ground would be more moist, but it's really not. All right, I'm going to let that soak in and then we'll get the mulch back on top. There, we're all set. We can wait till spring and watch them come up. Okay, another method of planting bulbs besides with the auger. Um, the auger is nice when you have one type of bulb and it goes, the type I had goes six inches, six to eight inches. Perfect for tulips, perfect for daffodils. Um, but what if you want to plant more than one type of bulb? Then it's nice to dig a hole um, and get it as deep as you want for your deepest bulb. And Chris has dug this one about um, six to eight inches down. So if you can see the bulbs in here, we've got the, the tulip bulbs all ready to go. And then she would cover them just enough to get those covered. And maybe we want to plant um, some hyacinth or some crocus in that. And you would plant your ne next biggest bulb over that. And then you'd cover that. Okay. And then you just have layers to the to a proper depth that you would need. And you have one hole then for all the different types of bulbs. And you do the same thing. You just cover it up and water it well. Okay, we're going to plant a few lily bulbs in here too. And as you can see, the lilies are quite a bit different than tulips. They have scales. And this one is a nice big blooming size one. And I've got a couple smaller ones here too. This one will probably bloom. This one probably will not next year, but it'll grow and probably bloom by the following year. So we're going to plant these three right in here. I've already dug the hole. I've worked in some repellix and I've got some bulb food down underneath. And same uh, for planting lilies. You want to go two to three times, the depth should be two to three times the circumference of the bulb. So we're going to want this at about six inches. So I've already got my hole. I'm going to work it down in here. And then the smaller one's going to go a little bit shallower. And this one, shallower yet. Just going to cover them up. We'll have the watering crew pull the hose in here in a little bit. Give them a good drink to settle the soil around them. And then put the mulch back and wait to see them next spring. Ready? Okay, we're going to plant a few species tulips, which are much smaller bulbs. And whoops if I don't lose them, and they're perennial, and they multiply. So I kind of like these. They're smaller. They're not as tall, usually star-shaped. This particular one is Tarda, which is kind of a yellow and white one, and they open wide up on sunny days and close up on cloudy days, and these will multiply. Now, for the small bulbs, I like to either use something like this soil knife where I can just stick the plant, stick it in and rock it back and forth to make a little hole. Tuck in the bulb because these don't go near as deep, only about four inches. Or I can also use this tool which is called the dibble and it's kind of nice. It makes a graduated size hole. So we're just going to put that in there, drop in a bulb, make sure it's settled with the uh, roots down, and again, pointy side up, and the other side down. Let's 
You can use this tool if you're doing crocus or things like that. It works really well for it because you don't have to stop and dig holes all the time. Well, I'm hitting rocks over there, so. And there we go. It's a quick way to plant those small bulbs like the muscari and the species tulips and crocus. Hope you enjoyed our tour, our little uh, planting session. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.